let me get out of here because I have to go to work. But this is the overall look of the makeup. So I'm just kind of showing you how it looks. It is it's 628 right now. So I'm gonna wear this the whole day while I'm at work. I work at least eight hours. So I'm gonna see how this makeup hold up on my oily skin so i would try to give you updates during the day but if not i would give you my final thoughts and update when i come home from work warning So this is how the foundation looks. And I would just put a timestamp so you know what time that it is. But overall, I do like the foundation. I believe it held up pretty well with my oily skin. Um, I'm the shade 410 in the Fenty Beauty Foundation if you just want that for reference. But yeah, overall, I do like the foundation. I think it did pretty well. As for the primer, I like it. Um, I think it helped keep the makeup on and I also it helped with um, when I put the makeup on, how smooth it was, put it on my face. Now, I don't think it controls oil that well and it really didn't fill in my pores that well either. So I can kind of zoom in so you can see how my pores look kind of up close. But I like it, but I probably wouldn't repurchase this again because again, I'm very, very oily. So I need a primer that's really good on um, oil control. And the one I usually grab is the Becca Matte Primer, which I think is the best that I have in my collection so far that will help with my oily skin. So that's a nice foundation. I'm not knocking it, but I just don't think it's for extremely oily girls like myself. I'm also a fan of the match sticks. I have the colors rum, caramel, and truffle. I use these to couture earlier, and I also like these. These are pretty matte. Um, I also forgot to mention that the foundation also is pretty matte once it's dried down. But the contour sticks is definitely matte. It didn't really have a shine to them when I used truffle and caramel. Rum, I used as the highlight on my face and I also like that too um, I think if you're looking for a natural type um, look like a natural couture you should definitely pick these up because these will be great for everyday look and last I do 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 love this lip gloss of course lip glosses don't last all day so I had to reapply this but I do like it I also love the smell it has like a fruity almost like a vanilla fruity type smell to it but um when i have it on it's not sticky again it's a lip gloss so i don't really expect for that to last all day so during breakfast and lunch of course it came off but i like it kept my lips soft and moisturized so definitely i would say pick this up also and that's it guys this is how the foundation held up on my oily skin again this is the final look that's why i say i'm oily now because this has been about almost 10, 11 hours, but mm. I think it held up pretty good. Some foundation with my oily skin, I put it on and it fades off real fast. So I think this did pretty good. And I like it too, because it's very light. It doesn't feel like I have anything on. It's almost like skin. But um, overall, let me know your thoughts on it. If you picked up the T Beauty collection, what did you like about it? Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys later.